Welcome, 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 welcome to the 31st vlog of Viral Media Network. Live vlog, we're a little late today, please excuse us. So much going on with Viral Media Network. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're not familiar with this show, I'm going to take my sunglasses off so you can see this full logo. Shout out to the hundreds, old school skating company. Um, another great story about ingenuity and entrepreneurship, but uh, that's for another day. Um, this vlog is specifically for my personal growth. I am Sam, DJ Lumberjack. Below are all the ways you can find us online. The only one that's not mentioned is Twitter. haven't made a graphic for that yet, but it's media underscore viral. But viralmedianetwork.com, viralmedia.network is how you find us on Instagram. And Viral Media Network, all three words separated out, is how you find us on Facebook. Okay, well, we have been developing Viral Media Network. Viral Media Network has been a company that I've been running um, since about 2009, 2010. Uh, I had a partner. Uh, I'm going to explain that in the monologue. But uh, basically, I was also working professionally in live sports as an audio tech, as a utility camera assistant, cable technician, uh, video technician. Um, that all ended. And um, this vlog started as a way for me to, first of all, I was doing it daily, and that just took way too much time throughout the week with all my other um, obligations. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Sorry if I was a little late. Uh, please forgive me. I haven't synced it with uh, Instagram or Facebook, so I'm just going to do it on my phone real quick. So this show is basically about my personal developments, the professional developments of Viral Media Network, and how I'm coping with this shelter in place. I mean, I'd like to extend this past. I'd like to think beyond the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. You know, things are starting to change a little bit. Uh, we're starting to see people go out a little bit more. You know, you got to wear protective gear and the new normal and all that stuff. Um, but this has really been an opportunity for me to take what I've wanted to do and been tiptoeing around doing um, tiptoeing around doing see there you can't see that in the shot can you huh that's even perfect so i got my webcam up here the logic tech uh i'll put links to all this gear and then i'm just using an uh an s8 uh note uh to live stream on my phone here and it's a little janky because i'm just literally putting it up and doing a screenshot uh maybe it's better if i uh let's see yeah it's better you can see a little better now, is that more in the shot? See, now you can actually see. See, I'm just like holding it in a cup. You know, it's like sometimes you got to do what you got to do, uh, which leads me into a topic of the day. The topic of the day is about um, the seven day YouTube challenge that I'm a part of to make Viral Media Network better. Um, and that's a segue. But let me get to the agenda. And so this show is about personal development, professional development with Viral Media Network. And uh, there goes the live stream on Instagram. See, that's that's what you do. You know what? I don't even think I need that cup. I think I'm just going to do that. And as long as uh, I'm not really in, in the uh, in the way. Let's see. I might have to cue that later. So, uh, yeah. Here are my notes for the day. So, uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You'll see all that below. Um, and uh, make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and share videos you see here on um, our channel, Viral Media Network 415 on YouTube. Now, uh, again, I am Sam, a.k.a. Sam DJ Lumberjack. Uh, I do want to note that you'll notice that our logo slightly changed. Uh, I had made remade this logo a while back. Um, but I sort of misplaced it. And so you saw that sort of like janky scribble. I was trying to be like graffiti style with the logo, but it's not quite polished. So I think this one's uh, more polished. It's, it's a little tiny bug in the corner now. Um, but if you want to see what it looks like more, um, there, it's like a, you know, YouTube play button and then just VMN super simple. Um, so I hope you like that. Um, anyways, uh, let me get into the monologue. This is what the show is about. Uh, we do it weekly, every live, uh, every day at um, 3 p.m. So welcome, join us, um, and into the monologue. So my name is Sam Jack. I'm a DJ. I'm a videographer. I also, of course, uh, like I said, work in work or worked in sports broadcasting. Uh, I see more and more people watching, so thank you, thank you. And if you're watching here, that you're watching on Instagram and Facebook. If you're watching here, you're watching on YouTube. So... Um, trying to make this work, trying to make this all work. So, um, basically I started this company before when I was still working in sports, but I hadn't quite made it. I hadn't quite worked my way up the ladder. 
and I wanted to be creative. I wanted to do my own videos, and I also wanted to figure out how to leverage that to do that for companies and businesses that 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 want video. And this is right when you know YouTube was starting, and online video was was getting hot. Um, and I'd previously worked for a company that that um, produced uh, searchable. Uh, video profile. So I kind of like learned how to produce and coordinate. And then I, you know, I'd gone to school for video production. Um, none of the digital stuff. Okay. I kind of was in that hybrid. I graduated in 2001. So um, a lot of the stuff recently has me, has been me unlearning the old way of production. And some of the techniques, of course, lighting is similar. Audio is, can be similar. Of course, some of the newer tech is different. Um, but basically I'm adapting. And that's the point of what I'm trying to say in my monologue. I am no longer working in sports broadcasting and for the foreseeable future. I'm not quitting. You know, if the sports start up tomorrow, it's a great union job. I love it. I can't complain. Um, but I got to be proactive. Okay. I'm on unemployment. I'm looking for side gigs. Of course, Viral Media Network does uh, videos and produces videos for clients. But uh, I really want to be creative with Viral Media Network, and I want to make a stamp in YouTube, not only for making videos for helping people and review videos and comparison and gear videos and that kind of thing, um, but also make fun videos. Like we have a, a hiking video series. We have a hip-hop kung fu theater that's a parody of Mystery Science Theater, but you pair hip-hop artists, rappers, DJs with kung fu movies, and they do the commentary. Um, so anyways, back in 2009, I had a partner. We were working together. We were developing strategies. We were still kind of tiptoeing around because we were sort of looking for the bigger thing. Well, long story short, he started working for a colleague of ours that hit their business started growing. And um, uh, I, I worked a little bit with them. I still do some freelance work with them. Um, so shout out to Repertoire Productions. But long story short, we, we went separate ways. And I decided to keep Viral Media Network and keep the brand and, and keep building it. Uh, and I did some things on my own. I did some great uh, local videos for o in Oakland uh, for Soja Mind Body. Um, you know, it's a it's a martial arts place where you can learn martial arts, um, t all different styles. Um, the original Quick Way that well, not the original original, but uh, Quick Way. It's now um, the the Vegan Mob. Shout out to Vegan Mob. Um, but uh, Quick Way got rejiggered uh, in 2010 ish. And I'd done a video for them. And, you know, we were doing a lot of, you know, local business, web videos and things like that. And so, you know, mild success and things and still trying to, you know, do some creative stuff. Um, but then at that time, I was also getting more and more gear. I was building my way up the production ladder. And what that allowed me to do is it allowed me to build uh, 401k, pension, uh, my, my salary got my, my hourly and my salary, my day rate got bigger. I got more experience. I was working more as an audio tech as opposed to just a cable jockey for camera. Started doing more camera gigs. Long story short, with that job combined with my wife's job, we were able to buy a house. So, you know, it was good income. It's great. And so Viral Media Network went to the side. And I always sort of played around it with it and just sort of like, you know, sporadically would update and do, do videos, um, you know, uh, for Viral Media Network, for the YouTube channel. Uh, didn't really have the uh, the Facebook going that much. I just recently started Instagram. So, you know, I've had Instagram on uh, on my personal account, DJ Lumberjack. You can follow me, DJ Lumberjack. Um, but, you know, really trying to get Viral Media Network going. So, basically, this is the moment of clarity for me. This is the moment where I... It's fight or flight. It's put up or shut up, right? Um, I really want this to go well and I really want to put all my heart into it and so that's the point of this vlog is being personal about what we're doing and um, you know sharing with you the growth um, in this journey so the joy is in the journey hope you'll join me and hope you'll support us so um, again you can follow us on Instagram at uh, viralmedia.network and if you see me uh, go like this that's because I've got the dual screen here I'm doing all the graphics integrating, so um, you know I'm trying to uh, talk while I'm doing that. So, um, long story short, at viralmedia.network is the uh, Instagram. Viral Media Network three words is the uh, Facebook, and then viralmedianetwork.com is our website, and then of course on Twitter at media underscore viral. I will build a graphic for that. Please forgive me. 
um, that that's not up. So in all this skills, you always want to be growing. Um, I also want to learn more skills as it applies to the broadcast tech. So I've been wanting to become an A1, so I'm going to try and also use this time to better my my audio skills, my audio mixing skills. But, you know, there's a lot on my plate. I'm still trying to support my wife and her online sales. She does online vintage sales. So check out The Dark Dish either on Instagram, eBay, or Cherish. That's Cherish, like the chair you sit in. Um, she's great. So we're trying to build, we're trying to create our own destiny while creating a house that's sustainable, home garden, we're bringing in more stuff by ourselves. We're reducing our, our plastic. We're trying to do all these things. So, you know, I'd like to build more and develop my, my career a little bit more in the broadcasting, but I also want to build this. So, you know, you'll see how it goes with the vlog. Um, but I've started the seven-day YouTube cha challenge, seven-day YouTube influencers challenge. It's day four. It's kicking my butt. So I want to shout out. That's the topic of the day. We'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, but in this growth, in learning strategies for YouTube and getting better, they are doing great. And, you, you know, I'm 42 years old. Uh, I might not look at it. I look a little young, right? Um, but uh, I'm never going to stop learning. I'm never going to stop growing. I don't know it all. I didn't know it all back in my 20s or 30s. And the tech is constantly changing. Like I said, I have a degree in video production and television radio, but from 2001. And over the time I've been working, I've learned some of the newer stuff. But when it relates to this and YouTube and doing web streams and doing, you know, nice viral web videos, I need to par down and unlearn the sort of big production skills where you have different departments doing different things. You know, you got to be wearing multiple hats. And um, my wife sent me a text. She said, happy show. So thanks for the encouragement. Um so I'm always evolving, always honing the skills, and I want to support you in that. So this is for growth. Please comment in the comment section or um, send me a text or comment here on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I should actually see if we are, if it did, the live stream did make it to Facebook. So give me a sec here. So um, yeah, I just want to be more creative. And in my broadcasting job, um, there were ways to sort of think creatively on like, Oh, how are we going to do this setup? It's a little different than um, this other arena, or we have something new today that we got to set up, or we have uh, a wireless mic that we got to put in the pads of the player, uh, and that we normally don't do. You know, you might have seen that on uh, Warriors or Sharks. You know, I've been a part of that, which is great. But you're, you know, in that situation, you are the audio tech, you are the camera person. I like to wear many hats and I like to sort of think big and, and, and like I said, be creative. So the monologue of today is my intention to be creative, to learn more, to get better, to make better YouTube videos that you guys want to watch, that you guys and girls and, and they and them and those that are non-binary, you know, I want to be cognizant of, of everyone. Um, you know, I do recognize that YouTube and part of what I'm learning the seven day YouTube influencer challenge you got to niche down and be hyper specific because that's what it's all about these days. But I've got a lot of interests and I know there's other people out there that have a lot of interests. So I want to do a lot of different things on the Viral Media Network YouTube channel, Viral Media Network 4 and 5. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just about taking charge of my own destiny. I've seen my wife do it. She's a big motivator. She has literally grown her business over the course of six months, even a year, more than a year. Uh, she basically started this job a little bit before she got pregnant. We had our our baby last April. Our baby is now a year and a, almost a month, a year and a month, basically. And she's grown her business to where she was making a couple hundred dollars a month. Now she's making, uh, you know, like four or five thousand dollars a month. And it's and it's becoming a sustainable income just by her vintage selling. So I know it's a little messy. This is her packaging plant right here in our attic. So we're doing dual fold home, home studio. Uh, but I always like to point out this gong. Um, so anyone that watches Seth Myers late night with Seth Myers, he does his thing in the attic. And I was actually shooting this vlog before he was shelter in place in the attic. And I, and I said way back when, when I started the vlog, when I was doing the vlog daily that, um, see, am I am I, am I live on Facebook? Yeah, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. So I'm not sure if... Uh, Okay, let me get back to it. So this gong is from the 1800s. She has it for sale on her eBay and her Cherish site. So check out The Dark Dish. But she finds these great vintage items in her sourcing, her proprietary sourcing uh, technique um, that uh, allows her to, you know, just find, you know, things she's really into, mainly mid-century modern, but, uh, you know, crystalware and, and China, uh, Chinaware dishes. Um, you know, and porcelain pieces and artwork and fashion. I'm, I'm looking at it over here to try lamps. She sells lamps and rugs and all these kind of things. Um, and that has motivated me to be like, Hey, I've been, I've been like tiptoeing and puttering with viral media network for all this time. It's been like 10 years. Okay. I want to celebrate, Hey, viral media network's been around technically like 11 years. Okay. But I'm, I'm embarrassed to, because I've been, you know, I hate to admit it, but yeah, maybe I've been half-assing it a little bit because I've tried to prioritize my family and, and what has led to success was the sports broadcasting. Uh, and that lane has worked for me. It's not always my favorite place to be, even though it's great to be on the sidelines. That's the Steph Curry and Clay Thompson and Draymond Green and Kevin Durant, not anymore, but all these things. Or on, a, on the sidelines of Raiders and all these things, or by the A's, Giants, you know, um, all this stuff. You know, having worked World Series, Super Bowl, uh, NBA Finals, all this stuff. But again, I'm just a cog in the wheel, and I'm gracious and and very respective for the opportunities I've gotten there. I don't want to knock it. I don't want to give it up. I'm just saying that there's a need in me to be self-sufficient. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to produce. I want to be creative. And YouTube is allowing me to do that through through Viral Media Network. So, you know, Viral Media Network is basically two things. We're a creative agency. We produce our own creative videos and we're constantly developing more. And we also offer our video production services and crewing services for anyone interested in, in producing a video or a live event or live stream. Because nowadays, you're going to want to live stream stuff, but maybe you want a little bit more of a production than just you know something like this, what I'm doing here. Um, you know, We can set up the lights and a nice studio setting and all this kind of stuff. Um, so please um, let us know uh, if, if you want to do that. Uh, okay, so let's move on. So yeah, um, I want... Basically, let me end the monologue on this. I want to provide for my family while sharing my passion and making that sustainable as an entrepreneur and, and as a creative businessman. Um, so hopefully, again, you'll join me in that journey and you appreciate what I'm doing. I'm going all in. Hashtag grow with video. That's some of the YouTube seven-day uh, influencer challenge, seven-day uh, YouTube uh, influencer challenge. Let me get to that. Uh, but first, as it relates to that, I want to share some developments with Viral Media Network uh, as we have um, we have been doing new videos. And uh, one big thing on YouTube is to be able to um, is to be able to have a trailer on your on your um, on your channel. Sorry, I'm going to uh, switch this over here. So uh, we made a trailer for our, and we shot this at Oak Stop. So shout out Oak Stop, the, uh, the co-working place down in downtown Oakland. Uh, they have another, uh, they have two locations, one on Broadway by 17th and one on 14th, uh, a little ways down um, from there, really around the corner. So uh, the one on 14th is more of a large event, uh, large event space. And, um, Yeah, I, uh, we shot this uh, in their conference room, and it's got a nice, um, oh, this is all the description. So let's watch this, and uh, while I do this, let me pop up the, uh, uh, well, you can just you can just watch it, you know what our. I don't know why you're not hearing that. So basically, we're highlighting. Let's uh, let's wait and see if going to preferences. Do 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 do. Do do do. This is what a live vlog does, baby.
So I don't know why this audio isn't working, but I won't. Um, let's see. So properties. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so basically this is our trailer. If you go um, back to uh, the page, it'll, it'll basically show this. But it's basically me talking about uh, the different playlists and different stuff that we do and also, um, you know, that we make videos for people. So um, I would check it out. And, um, yeah, check out some other playlists we got going on um, here on the YouTube channel. And, once again, that's Viral Media Network uh, 415. And I'm going to bring that up right here so you guys can see it. You might have seen it in the video, but, uh, you know, I just want to bring up some more graphics. Okay, Viral Media Network 415. Um, and next on the, to the uh, topics or the agenda is the good deed of the day. And you would not believe um, that the good deed comes from Jack Dorsey of uh, Twitter. He's the CEO of Twitter. And, um, I know, you know, Twitter is one of those tech companies that everyone loves to hate. Uh, and they love to say, oh, the techies at Twitter and all this stuff. But, you know, I, I live in Oakland. I, I want to support the community as much as I can. And, um, he really did a good thing here. What he did is he donated $10 million, um, to, to Oakland. And, uh, this graphic's a little messed up. So I'm going to, um, fix it on the fly here so please forgive me so you know this is how this is how viral media network is growing because um you know with everything going on and trying to check the light so the the youtube uh uh challenge a seven day challenge um it basically so kids are going to receive uh receive uh laptops and internet access uh he donated 10 uh, Ten million dollars. Let me just here. This is going to solve it. So we all know his first name is Jack. There we go. Now it all fits. And this is a little. Oh. All right. You know what? Not perfect, but there you go. So Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey is donating $10 million to Oakland, and it's for kids receiving laptops and internet access uh, while they stay at home. And, um, you know, it's to help that digital divide for those that maybe not cannot afford all that technology but still have to sign on and do all the online coursework um, so they don't, you know, drop way below um, their peers. So, oh, I just realized that that – so I'm going to switch this back over to here. So everyone can see that on the live stream there. Um, and uh, thank you again for watching. I know there's only a few of you watching, but you know what? This is going to grow organically. Uh, part of the reason I was late to stream, I usually started right at 3. This is about 5, 6 minutes late. Uh, I'm trying to use a new technology, a newer, it's not that new, it's been around, but Restream. And what that is, is that, that allows you to stream to multiple channels at once. Um, and it was my first day doing it, and of course I just didn't have time to set it up um, too much ahead of time and I was getting a weird audio echo um, it was coming from two different the source was coming from two different places and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go back to streaming from YouTube and then on my phone uh, for Instagram and Facebook but eventually I want to do the same feed and that's why I was a little late um, so thank you getting back to the good deed of the day Jack Dorsey 10 million dollars to Oakland for kids receiving laptops and internet access for those that uh, that that can't have it and that are in need. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And so long story short, uh, you know, my wife and I are, are working on our businesses, but we're also, we, we do have some help um, with, uh, with a niece that um, helps us with the kid. But basically, we're dividing our time. So sometimes I don't have all the time, you know, I'm sheltered in place. I'm trying to do more viral media network videos, but I also have responsibilities of the family. And so i um, trying to make it all work, trying to make it all develop together. So please accept um, my apologies for some minor technical difficulties. Um, so that's the good deed of the day. Thank you, Jack Dorsey of um, Twitter. We always like to have a good deed of the day. 
Um, we have a recipe of the day. This is, you know, it's so funny because last week my recipe, I, I was doing this every day. Once, you know, I think I started on, on March 18th. I was doing it every day. And it was doing like an hour and then I would prep for about an hour ahead of time, sometimes two hours. It was taking up so much time. So I changed it to weekly. So every day we'd, we'd be making all these foods. And so every day I'd have a new recipe, a new recipe, a new recipe. And they'd always be a little different. Well, since I started weekly, last week, I think I started three weeks ago. But last week the recipe was a roast chicken that I had made with turmeric and roast vegetables and all this stuff. Well, my wife just roasted a chicken last night, a different roast chicken. She got the recipe and the link will be, it's not in the, in the description now, but I will be more thorough with the description once I'm done live streaming. Um, it's from the book, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, and it's also a Netflix show, so I recommend it. It's from a cook, Samin, please forgive me, I can't, I don't recall your last name right now, um, but she is a cook from Chez Panisse and she had this awesome, awesome roast buttermilk uh, recipe and it is really awesome. Really, there's three ingredients and, um, salt, fat, acid, acid, heat is the, uh, is the name of the, um, is the name of the book. Um, again, again forgive me. It's Samin. Eh, some of you can look it up online. Uh, but, uh, basically, you just brine the chicken in buttermilk and a little salt overnight for 24 hours. And then you roast it in a cast iron pan for, at 400 degrees. Um, you know, you rotate a little bit and um, reduce heat here and there. Um, but it's a really easy recipe. And, um, oh, didn't mean to do that. And it's just, it's just awesome. So if you've been cooking out there, I want to hear your recipes. Put in the comment section or drop me a line on any of my... Uh, you know, Instagram channels at DJ Lumberjack or at viralmedia.network or on our Facebook page, Viral Media Network. By the way, thank you again to all the Facebook followers out there. Yes, you, all of you Facebook followers out there. We have a thousand likes on Facebook. So I implored you, I pray for you, please. If, if you're a fan of us on Facebook, jump over to YouTube, like us on YouTube. We need to bump up those subscriptions. Subscribe to us on YouTube, please. Get the notifications. We're constantly developing more videos. We're going all in, baby. Um, and that brings me to the topic of the day. All in with video. Grow with video. YouTube. Uh, Seven-day YouTube. Uh, influencers. Video challenge. However you want to say it. Um, it's time for the topic of the day. Hey! Hey! That's a play if anyone out there is a um, Sesame Street fan. And I need to resize this because it's way too big. So give me a quick sec. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm just resizing the, uh, the graphics again. So please forgive me. There we go. All right. There we go. Think Media, Sean Cannell, Heather Torres, Tony, uh, I want to say uh, Melissa's the other lady who does the live, the live stream uh, classes. Please forgive me if I got your names wrong, but I know Heather Torres and Sean Cannell and uh, Tony. Uh, his last name is, is, is uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Anyways, it's day four of the YouTube influencers challenge seven day influencer challenge and man it is heavy it's crazy how much information they give you um you can you can pay for the vip and you can pay for the starter kit which i did buy the starter kit eventually i didn't buy it right away i bought it today um just because it has really straightforward tips and tricks about how to improve your videos and make them more watchable um things you can do in the comment section uh, sorry the description and the title and all the metadata and the thumbnailing and all the yada yada because like, and I heard it best today. Tony said it best today on the, the stream. But there's two two lessons a day. They're about an hour, hour and a half each. 
um, one in the morning at 10, one at 5 p.m., and then all this bonus time. And if you're a VIP, you can be part of the VIP Q&A. Um, but they got a great outfit. Basically, they want to help you improve um, your YouTube influence and help you become a sustainable YouTuber. And I know a lot of it is them attracting more followers themselves and gaining more recognition and that kind of thing. Um, but there is a lot of value in, in what they're teaching. A lot of it is, is uh, motivating stuff, stuff that you need to hear, stuff that you should be hearing. And if you're not hearing it in other, other places, it's, it's magic to your ears. And I'm loving what they're doing. Um, of course, I got a supportive wife and supportive friends, um, and that will help build this as well. But really, they have strategic tips and tricks and anecdotal stories of what they've been through to grow their stuff. Um, so shout out to them. And it's, it's really, uh, it's really been eye opening to know, and I, you know, I've always kind of known it in the back of my head, but not wanted to do it. But going back to what I was saying in the monologue, you know, I was tiptoeing around. I was half assing this. I was just sort of doing what I could when I could, but you know, if you want to grow in anything, you got to nurture that. And just like I'm in the backyard, nurturing the garden, making sure I water enough, making sure everything, you know, oh, there's a, there's a leaf, you know, that needs a little, you know, oh, it's dying. We need to cut that off so it doesn't affect the rest of the plant. Oh, we need to trim this down. Oh, this is, this is taking over where, you know, the tomatoes are taking over where the corn should grow or whatever, or, you know, oh, you know, we need to, you know, get more food for our chicken or whatnot. And, and, um, also nurturing our baby and things like that. So, you got to nurture, you got to grow, you got to expand your repertoire. And um, the team at Think Media, Sean Cannell, their their lessons are great. I really recommend it. Um, you know, check it out. Uh, it's also the YouTube page I'm going to recommend for the day is uh, Think Media. Sean Cannell has his own personal page, uh, YouTube, Sean Cannell. Um, and yeah, it's just awesome. It's, it's really sweet. And um, we'll see what happens at the end of it. Um, I, I know viral media network itself is not a, they talk a lot about niching down, um, your content and viral media network is a little broad because we have a podcast, we have this live vlog, we have the hip hop Kung Fu theater, we got a hiking video. They're not all in the same niche, but I have a lot of interests and I want to do a lot of different things. So hopefully each playlist can be very niche oriented and I can, I can orient each playlist into those niche markets. Um, but I'm really going to glean what they have to say. And I, and I really, I might sign up for that. They do have one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, you know, some of the technical stuff that they're teaching, I sort of quote already know, but I don't want to let that prohibit me of saying, oh, well, I'm just going to tune that out because like I said, there's newer technologies calling, coming out all the time. Um, I have always sold myself short literally on gear because I didn't want to invest. I didn't want to put out credit card debt, but you know what, if you want, good results, you got to get good gear. Uh, and I know there's also like, don't always like try and shoot for the moon, make, make what you can now. And that's part of what the vlog is. So I'm going to try and do, do both. I'm going to try and make what I can now invest in good gear, learn new techniques, learn new strategies. And as I'm doing that, <clears throat> post more videos, develop more content, develop more series and just grow the YouTube. And while I'm doing that, just like my wife selling stuff online, I'm starting an eBay store. So check out Lumberjack Cuts on eBay. I sell electronics. I sell comics. I sell vinyl. And I'm going to be reviewing, you know, I love crate digging uh, in thrift stores, in, at yard sales, uh, swap meets, record swaps, that kind of thing. And one of the new YouTube series I'm going to have is uh, record, like record reviews, but specifically what I find in the thrift stores. Uh, so look out for that. And uh, this YouTube challenge is really helping me sort of refine that and think of new strategies and new ideas. So that is the topic of the day. Uh, let's move on to the album of the day. And this has to do with uh, folks are uh, doing this uh, album challenge, 10 day album challenge, way different than the YouTube seven day challenge. Um, but basically, um, they challenge you to uh, come up with 10 albums, one a day, um, of that influenced you in your life. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll quickly mention um, 
all the ones I've said, I did this a couple years back. So when, when, uh, my friend Bonnie, um, challenged me to do this, I was reluctant cause I was like, Oh, I already did it. But I was like, okay, well I'll probably do some of the same albums this time. I've eventually relented. Um, and so, uh, today I picked appetite for destruction. I recommend that album. Uh, sorry. Yesterday I did, uh, appetite for destruction today. I did criminally minded, um, by KRS one. Both uh, links to the albums will be in the description. Uh, they're not now, but once I'm done live streaming, they will be. And uh, Appetite for Destruction, uh, Guns N' Roses, classic album. I really recommend it. Same thing with KRS-One, um, Criminal Minded, Scott Rock was still with the group, rest in peace. One of the best DJs, one of the best beat makers. And when I was a kid, hearing the lyrics were one, were one thing. KRS-One, dope. You know, he had that kind of mix of like gangster rap with consciousness and sort of blending that, but Scott LaRock on the beat, like as a young impressionable kid, he is, those beats are some of the reason that I still make beats today. And by the way, all the music you're hearing in here and on Viral Media Network uh, are, are produced by me. So all the bumping music that, that I use for the show, for this vlog, for the podcast, DJ Lumberjack, baby. So check that out. Um, I'm on SoundCloud and I'm on MixCloud. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working on getting on Bandcamp. also working on Patreon. So you can support me there and, uh, I'm going to have different levels of the Patreon so you can support me. And, but depending on the level, you'll be able to contribute, um, ideas to, uh, my show and, and to content on, on YouTube and you also get other perks and stuff. So, uh, yeah, what did I do? I started with Stone Temple Pilots, uh, core. I think that's an album that I recommended on the show. And then I, oh, I did uh, rumors, uh, with uh, with uh, Fleetwood Mac, and I think I recommended that on this show today. But anyways, um, getting back to the beats. Oh my gosh, Karis One, Criminal Minded, Scott Rock on the beat. It's just like la da 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 da. da. Oof, and then the bridge is over. That beat that just pff, pff, ksh, the but da 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 da. Dun dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun da da da. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Hey hey. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Hey hey. Oh man, I just like rewound that over and over again, trying to, you know, just just get that beat right, and just like memorize the lyrics. So I know it's his appetite for destruction, but I actually have two albums, um, because they're just so awesome, and both. There'll be links in this description on um, these albums and where to buy them. Um, so check for that once I'm done streaming. That's the album of the day. Um, and that's pretty much the show. I I, I, uh, I used to have a book of the day, um, but my wife, uh, you know, she's always, she's we are great at bouncing um, construction, con <clears throat> constructive criticism against each other. Uh, with each other, for each other. We, we're very good at discussing and bouncing ideas. And she's like, you know, dear, you're the king of... You're, you're the king of uh, reading a book and not finishing it. And she's totally right. Like, And I've said that on this, on this vlog before, um, that uh, I'll be... I'll have, I'll have five books that I haven't finished that I'm cur currently reading. So I need to get back on that. So that's why I kind of stopped doing that because she said, you can't be, and if, especially when I was doing it every day, maybe it's easier to do it. Maybe I'll get back into it now that this is a weekly vlog. But basically, you know, if I'm recommending a book every day and I haven't necessarily read that book or finished that book, maybe I've read parts of it, why, you know, that's not an authentic recommendation. So um, if you want to see more book recommendations, let me know. Put in the comment section. Shout me out here on Instagram or Facebook. Um, let me know. And again, in general, any content you have, ideas, let me know. Send me a shout out. If you don't like something, if you want me, if you see something that I can improve upon, please help me because I can only do this with your help. And, you know, I'm here to serve my audience. I'm here to serve the people that I'm showing this to. You know, I want to make sure you're entertained. You're, uh, sorry, I bumped the camera a little bit. Um, you're informed, you're enlightened, you're engaged in what I'm doing. And if you're not engaged, tune it out. Or if you see potentially me engaging you in a different way, please let me know because I can't do it without you. We come together, we work together as a community, we grow together, and that's what this is all about. So I want to thank you for joining me. We'll be back next week. Make sure to subscribe, 
to our YouTube channel. That's Viral Media Network 415. That's the channel you're watching this on now. Um, and uh, let me bring that up real quick so you see it. Viral Media Network 415. There it is. And I also want to make sure that you are uh, following us on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, Facebook, it's simply three words, Viral Media Network, all spaced out. And you can search that or find me on, on Facebook, DJ Lumberjack, or just Lumberjack. I'm on Facebook, at DJ Lumberjack. But our website is ViralMediaNetwork.com, at ViralMedia.network on Instagram, and Viral Media Network, all three words, like I said, on Facebook. The graphic that's not up there, if you're a Twitter person, at media underscore viral. So from there, I'm going to just say thank you so much. Uh, all right. Queuing up the music. Let's try this again. Nope. So thank you so much for joining us. Once again, I'm Sam DJ Lumberjack with Viral Media Network. We'll see you next week, Friday at 3 p.m. Every week on Fridays, 3 p.m., we go live. We do this. Check out our other playlists. And hope you're doing well. Make sure to inspire each other. Continue to grow. Never stop learning. Um, and, yeah, be well to each other. Um, you know, always be cautious out there. Wear protective gear, stay healthy, wash your hands a lot, stay exercising, keep your social distancing, but get out there and go for a run. Go take a walk on the beach, as long as it's not crowded. Find the non-crowded beach, which is our next hiking video, by the way. Another tease, I want to apologize to Ryan Nicole and DJ Champagne. I meant to get the podcast up today, but with the vlog going on and all this training with the seven-day challenge, it'll be up tonight, I swear. That'll be the next podcast, the Sam Jack podcast, all right? Um, let me bring that up real quick. Oh, boom, boom. Oh, it went away, but there it is. Boom, the Sam Jack podcast. Make sure to check that out. It's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. It's on SoundCloud. Wherever you podcast, check that out. All right. Thank you so much. Sam, DJ Lumberjack, Viral Media Network, vlog number 31. We'll see you next week, folks.